G'day guys, and welcome to the Iron Empire. Here we are on day one of the six day South Australian COVID lockdown. So we'll see how this pans out. I'm lucky enough that I have my shed and four and a half acres to play with and keep me entertained. So the plan for today is to get stuck into my XB ute, which I've recently sold to a fella. It is going to Queensland. I need to do a few things to that. And also later in the week, I might get stuck into a couple of other projects of my own. So we'll see how that all pans out and we'll get into it right now. Righto, the camera went dead right when I was bringing the car in. So uh, I had to tow this up into the paddock and then roll it into the shed because it's running like a dog. So first point of call is the 750 double pumper, which came off of my car from home, is coming off because that was only put in there temporarily to get this thing running. And I'm gonna raid the 600 off my VG because it's just a VAC um, Poly 600 and I've got like heaps of them and I'm not going to be able to re rebuild it this week because COVID. So I'll pull that off because obviously that's not going to see the road anytime soon. That'll go on, it should fire straight up and be sweet and uh, aside from a little bit of timing, this thing's pretty right to go. Cosmetically, the grill has to be swapped over and so tonight, I'm not sure how far I'll get. It's, I've spent most of the day farting around watering lawns and stuff. So I'm sort of already out of uh, motivation, but I'll probably spray all the bolts and everything. So they're gonna come, come out nice and easy because I've got to pull the bar off. So that'll be swapped over. And I've got to swap the wheels over because I want to keep the 12 slots there. And I've got a set of just standard 14 inch steel rims that are gonna be going with the car, but with a set of good tires so that the car can be used and put on the road. That's the plan, so we'll get stuck into that now. Try some of this stuff, because uh all the professionals will tell me it's bad for your engine. All right, sweet. The ignition system's still all good. So we know that it's going to run. And we know that it uh, was probably in gear. All right, I'm going to slap this car behind and see how we go. Looks like I blew a whole heap of condensation and a little spidey out of that exhaust. So it's been sitting outside for a while. It's, as I said before, this Holly is just a plain old 600 VAC secondary, nothing special whatsoever. Uh, mm. I got a feeling I have about three or four of them floating around somewhere. So, uh, and they're all reasonably good. So. Obviously, when they sit around for a while, you need to run a kit through them. So that one, I uh, did put a kit. Well, actually, Adam Cow put a kit through it for me. And uh, it runs sweet, but it's just going to get me out of trouble this week. And I'll just uh, rebuild another one for it. Might even look at putting a double pumper on this. I'm not sure. Or maybe modifying it to be a double pumper. We'll see how we go. sit for months. The engine actually sounds good. There's no rattles or ticks or noises or anything like that. So I'm pretty stoked with that. Shit. I've left the ignition on for like half an hour. What an idiot. We'll try and see if this thing gets any throttle. <laughs> Oh, 
That is honestly better than it has ever run. It was the car the whole time. Whoops. Got a uh, second day farting around with the XB. I've been pretty casual on this uh, shutdown. I haven't been quite as motivated as I was hoping, but never mind. Uh, first point of call is today with some fluids. I'm gonna get some transmission fluid in it to get that topped up because I know that's low. I did get a radiator cap for it because this one is, although it actually appears to be working because the temperature gauge is literally working, it's old as the hills. So that has to go away. And I bought a pump. I got one of these uh, hand pumps so I can pump the transmission transmission fluid straight in. And I actually had a pump that used to go straight into the um, bottles of these things, but I found that the thread hardly ever matches up to the bottles anyway. Um, so. I mean, this one obviously you've got to fill the bottle first, which is kind of annoying, but at least I guess you know where you're at. You can see how much you're using every time. So pros and cons to both of those options, but I'm going to get stuck into this now and then go rip out that grill that I've been talking about. And hopefully if that goes smooth, we'll get that in there today as well. The grill out of the, the other XB. So obviously pretty self-explanatory the difference with the between these two grills is that the GS had driving lights the same as the GT and just the base model Falcon didn't have anything. Um, they both had the same sort of honeycomb insert but Jake wants just a standard Falcon grill in his XB which works out well, so I'm going to put that in his car when we take that down to Northwest Auto Bodies. And this grill is going to be going in this car and sent off. So my goal for today, um, which is the last day of lockdown, because we ended up getting it cut short very early, it didn't end up even reaching six days, is to get this grill in and the driving lights in. And pretty much, that's it. That's it for today. I want to get home. I want to work on some merch because I've been super slack getting uh, some merch ready for you guys. I've just had my basic Iron Empire logo, but I really want to work on some uh, new designs and I've been putting it off and I've basically been slack. So the goal today is to get this in and then shoot down home and get stuck into that and hopefully have some stuff done before Christmas because I've left it too a little too late. So fingers crossed that all happens. Um, so yeah, let's get this in and see how far along we get. So I got all the wheels swapped over and fuel topped up, all the oils checked, tailgate swapped. All that's left to do is to remove this passenger seat and uh, yeah, basically give it a bit of a vacuum out, load her up, she's ready to roll. But uh, I thought it'd be a good chance to test it out. Got to go and turn the pump on, so for water the lawns, country living. So I thought take it with you, see how it rolls.
Alrighty, down here at Seaver, first thing in the morning. Um, I've gone in the wrong way, so I'm under the pump now to get this thing unloaded before someone comes tells me off. But uh, made it here, hopefully everything's all sweet here. It's a pretty strict company. Um, but the car runs, drives, starts, goes in the park, all that sort of stuff. So should be all sweet. We'll get it unloaded and get this show on the road. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. This is not a good scenario. Turns out I've dropped the vehicle at Seaver and it's meant to go to another place around the corner. And now there's nowhere to load the car up because the car park's full now. So my only option is to drive it around the corner, which is like probably a K in an untested car. I've never driven it more than a couple hundred meters. So, and I've got no seats. So I'm gonna sit on this battery and hope for the best. This thing is actually driving surprisingly good, but I am absolutely shooting myself. I haven't even got a seatbelt to throw over my shoulder. Northern Vic car service. Car run like a top. All right, that wraps up this episode of the Iron Empire. Uh, oh man, it ended up a little bit more exciting than it started, but anyway, got the XP running pretty good. Got it all sorted, felt the feather that's going uh, up to Queensland, so should be a good project to see uh, evolve into something pretty good. Anyway, I've got a uh, couple of K walk ahead of me now. And it's about 40 today, so good times. I'll see you on the next episode. Cheers, guys.